Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissAnalog.com and we're here with the book review. This is uh, going to be a quick one. I've, I'm holding the first edition of Christoph Bassel's Switching uh, Power Supply book. Now, it's the Switch Mode Power Supplies, okay, with Spice, but it's really heavily spice written. And in the back of the book, which I'm missing, it came with the CD-ROM, okay? This is about 890 pages, I think it is, something like that. But yeah, this is a, a big, thick book. You can see how, well, I've even broken the binder. I mean, I this is a book that I use a lot when I'm designing the circuit. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I want to go back. And I think every time I pick up something, so I go back to this book a lot. Okay, so if you're a switch mode power supply guy and you're designing circuits, then I think you should definitely have this book on your on your desk or at least the digital version. Okay, now the second edition I have in digital format. We're going to jump over and I'm going to show you the guts of that. Okay, but before I do that, what I want to kind of say is this is kind of written at the engineering level. It's uh, I mean if you are a working engineer, then I think this is a great book to get. If you're a guy that's just trying to learn power supplies and you got microcap download for free now you know it used to be what 4700 bucks just a year or two ago now it's free because the guy retired giving away free well there's other simulation tools but that's a great one and if you're using that and you want to you're you're kind of just dipping into it this still could be good i think you know but um but to learn power supplies not so much the spice simulation of it this book I reviewed before, Sanjaya's book, this would probably be a better book to start with. But if you are into it and you're doing spice simulations, then this is definitely one you should get. Either this edition, the first edition, or the second edition, which I'm going to show you. Okay, And this is the third edition that I, I did a review on before. It's probably a little bit, I call it a third edition. I don't even think it says third edition. But I kept referring it to this third edition. I think I've seen other people refer to this as a third. It's really uh, an add-on to the second edition. Or you could it's an add-on to the first or second edition. It's just got some extra topologies and some extra stuff in it to add to, I'd say, either one of these first or second editions. So if you got this book, then you don't, you know... You don't need to buy the second edition. You could probably just get that one. But let's just jump over right now. And I'm going to show you some examples and table contents, things like that, okay? Let's, let's just go do that. Okay, so here's the cover of this book. It's got a nice cover. Okay, so there's the title page. And here's the copyright page. Uh, 2014. Now let's go through the table contents. First chapter is just an introduction to power conversion. Talks about filters and duty ratios and buck converters. So you can see it's, you know, there's a lot of subjects here. And then there's the appendix here, the RLC transfer function. Power supply classification by topologies. Let's just take a look. Let me click on this table. Here's a flyback, single switch forward. And it talks about some benefits, some negatives. You know, so there's some breakdowns like that. So let me continue on this table. So there's the continuation of the table. So this is nice to to kind of go over this and understand all these things. All right, so then on chapter two, small signal modeling. Uh, state space averaging starts off, sounds like a lot of math, right? But he gets into... Uh, some state space like this first section and then into that to the PWM switch model and Look how it's broken down discontinuous clamp sources I'm just going to go through the contents real quick and then I'm going to just jump around and show you some examples I mean you can just see How he's broken down all these different things the PWM switch model is just you know really broken down current mode case parasitics uh, borderline conduction is what he calls that and then here's a PWM switch model a collection of circuits and then he has a bunch of different circuits that he shows so let's just jump over and take a look at a tapped buck 
So there's a schematic there. Just an example. And here's the averaging models. He talks about that. The Ridley models and uh, the Copac. So he's got a lot of different examples in here. And then Appendix 2, transfer functions, buck boost. He talks about zeros and uh, poles. So let's just jump over that real quick. So you can see how he breaks this down. Okay, just an example of how that works. All right, so then in Chapter 3, feedback and control loops. That's a big subject too, right? And you can see how he's broken that down. There's a lot of examples, a lot of information here. Here I'll just jump on type 2. It's kind of a common thing. Shows that, the equation for that, and then how you break that down into poles and zeros, basically, and the gain function. And then we go into the K factor down here. Another method. Feedback, TO431, commonly used in feedback circuits. Optocoupler another commonly used component. And then down here at the bottom, you can see it says small signal response with PSIM and Simplus. So Simplus has become a, a big tool for power analysis in SPICE. Okay, then chapter four, basic blocks and generic switch models. So you can just see how in depth this book is. Uh, leading edge blinking. There's a lot of subjects we're gonna cover a whole bunch of these things, but geez, it's just really in depth. Chapter four goes down to convergence and you can see all the things avoiding saturation. Then back into the appendix in this one, equivalent inductor model. We can just jump over and take a look at that real quick. And there you go. All right, and then chapter five, simulations of practical design of non-isolated converters. So you can see here, here's uh, just a bunch of different analysis of the buck converter. And then the boost, and then the buck boost. Chapter six, use simulations, practical designs of offline converters. So these are gonna be isolated converters mostly. This is the front end actually, chapter six. So the bridge, the rectifier bridge, and it talks about capacitor and diode selection. Here's a hold up time, let's just jump over to that. See a nice little diagram and it shows how the simulation set up and, and what it might look like. And down here at the bottom, power factor correction, 6.2, second section. And there's even right here, passive PFC. And down here at the bottom, uh, hysteretic power factor correction. So you can see the all the different subjects that are covered. 6.3 is designing a BCM boost PFC. And then we have the appendix, more examples. And then chapter seven here at the bottom, simulations and practical designs of flyback converters. So, I mean, look at all the breakdown here. Clamping the drain excursion. He talks about the diode selection, how to clamp the circuit, and then he gets into active clamps, 7.10. Okay, and then 712, practical designs of flyback. So, good written startup resistor. Uh, so, there's a lot of subjects here, really practical design considerations, and standby of power converters, so the efficiency and all that kind of stuff. And then here's some examples. And the appendix goes even further into examples, it talks about transformer design. And here's some small signal stuff again. Now we're in chapter eight, simulations and practical designs of forward converters. This is just really in depth. Two switches, RCD, down here at the bottom, we get into magnetic amplifiers. I mean, you would think looking at this, he hasn't missed anything. Appendix A, active clamp four converters. So really cool stuff. And then the conclusion, this is about the author right here. You can see his experience here. Okay, now let me show you some other examples. Now, this is the buck waveforms. I just wanted to show you some of those that he shows. And you can see pulse width modulation, the inductor current, capacitor voltage. 
just wanted to show you some examples here. Yeah, so here's uh, typical buck waveforms when operating discontinuous conduction mode. The other one was continuous, and here we go with discontinuous. We've already seen that in some other videos I've done recently, but here's some pictures, and these look a lot like what I, we saw in, in uh, the past videos, right? Okay, now this is an example of a buck converter simulation that you would have. Here's your feedback circuit down here at the bottom. Here's your transistor and your diode, your switching element, your switch node right here, and then your passive components on the output. Now, this is an active clamp section, that 7.10. I think this is really interesting. If you guys have done four converters, you might find this interesting, this schematic. And this is how it gets into explaining the different modes of operation. So here's a more of a complete simulation model of an active clamp. There's a really good example of how you can simulate that. And here's a four converter it might be interesting for you to look at. Uh, the transformer here with two outputs on it. Just kind of giving you some examples. Now here's an, another example of the Ford converter. Shows the auxiliary winding for the feedback. The, uh, here's an example of the bootstrap capacitor. Uh, if you guys, you know, for the high side FET, you need to use a capacitor to charge to get the voltage to turn on the high side FET. And this talks about the capacitor, charging the capacitor and the energy required formula down here. Just wanted to just kind of show you the different types of things that he goes into detail on. Now, regarding transformer design, here's some variables for transformer uh, design and the core selection. Just showing you some of the uh, equations and more active clamp stuff. Just wanted to show you some more of that stuff because here's how he's showing the switches, how they're simulated, and just going into some of the equations of an example. Hope that just gives you an idea of what the book looks like and, and how he's broken down all the subjects and how he's covered a lot of different aspects of the designs. Hey guys, I thought I'd just show you a couple pages here. You can see the ones I've looked at so often. You know, just control theory. Just dog-eared that to death. Really common circuit here. You can see, uh, I think I might have found a correction in the book here. And, yeah. So, just wanted to kind of show you a few pages just so you can kind of see what it looks like. All right, guys, so if you are looking for a book like this, I hope this was helpful. If you're confused, thinking should you buy that or buy the first or second edition, I hope that makes a lot more sense. This video has cleared that up. Yeah, sorry about the confusion. That book's a great book, but it's probably best, especially uh, if you're just learning to pick up one of these other books. The subject matter in that, if you're an experienced engineer, I'd jump in. That's a beautiful book. It's the format. It's just one of those books that, you know, so, I mean, the pages, it's the quality, the production of that book is so nice when you pick it up, it's hard to put down. <laughs> Hopefully it won't end up like this, right? All right, guys, hey, thanks for watching. Oh, thanks, Patreons, for all your support. Thumbs up to you guys, and thumbs up to the video if you guys don't mind. That really helps the YouTube analytics. It does help the video, and free way to help the channel. You become a patron for as little as a dollar a month. And using the links down below, free way to help the channel too. So if you are interested in books, I really appreciate using those links. And they are working. I think they're supposed to work in other countries now too. So let me know if that works out for you. If you anybody gives me that feedback. But that'd be great. Alright guys, thanks. Thanks a lot. Hey, and the next book review I'm going to do is going to be more of a beginner's book to Power Spies. Like if you are just learning power supplies and you really want a book that's a little bit easier to read and understand, I'm going to review that next, okay? Next week we'll see that one. Hey, thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.